So what's the easiest and best drop shipping strategy for 2018 and onwards? Hey, what's going on guys? Shri Kanase here and today we're going to be talking about the easiest way to start getting sales on your Shopify store starting this year and possibly maximize that revenue into five figures and even into six figures over the years that are to come so like always be sure to hit that subscribe button down below i'm basically providing value every other day and also i'll be starting a series where i go over subscriber websites so be sure to let me know your website in the comment section down below and i'll make a list of all the websites that i'll be going over in the series just let me know why i should be reviewing your website so let's begin so if you have been following me until now First of all, thank you for that. But you probably know by now that I'm a firm believer in adapting to the changes. Now with this year, there have been a lot of different things ongoing with dropshipping in general and Facebook ads, which is our main platform. So if some of you don't know, Facebook ads has been going through a lot of trouble. If you guys do watch the news and basically it has affected us marketers and our dropshipping stores. Essentially, March was the worst time for Facebook's ads, and even our stores suffered because of that. So with changes like these, we have to adapt to it and try out new things. And this is why I decided to make this video, because I've been seeing a lot of people saying drop shipping is going to be dying, and Facebook ads has made it really difficult for us, which is true, but again we have to adapt to the changes so the easiest strategy if you haven't already begun with Shopify or if you have begun but you aren't finding the success that you want to is to begin focusing a little more on Instagram influencers so if I can type begin focusing on Instagram influencers now again I say this because Facebook ads has been going through a lot so I think right now would be a better time to really tone up your skills of Instagram influencers and get more practice contacting them, throwing out ads, seeing what works and what doesn't. I have a more in-depth video on Instagram influencers in my channel below. So just be sure to check it out. But I honestly think that it would be a good strategy for 2018 to start focusing more on Instagram influencers along with Facebook ads. So again, the main thing that you should be doing is testing new products with Instagram influencers again if you don't have much success with Facebook or you don't know anything about Facebook you definitely should be trying out Instagram first Instagram influencers and then jumping on Facebook ads but for Instagram influencers I'll just go over the general things that you have to keep in mind which is start with small pages I have a more in-depth video again on Instagram but by small pages I mean less than 300k this gives you ample amount of room to test your products and even suffer the loss if you do not get any sales because these pages do not charge as much as the ones do which are over 300k so definitely be trying out pages less than 300k to begin with and again I always emphasize that even in my last videos but spend less time on website and more time marketing or finding products again I believe in the 80 20 rule which is 80 20 which means you should spend 80 percent of your time marketing and trying to sell and 20 percent of the time on your website such as trying to improve the pages trying to improve the theme whatever this is a key key principle in business which is spend 80% of your time doing the most important thing that's going to get you the profits which is selling so again in 2018 and onwards be sure to focus more on selling rather than just trying to tweak up your websites because in the end the selling will get you the profits and again you want to continue consistently testing new products every single day and again this was one of my major mistakes which is getting overconfident with one product you definitely have to keep on testing each day even when you find a winner and again begin testing by Instagram influencer if you don't have much knowledge but if you want more details on a uh, Facebook ad just be sure to check out my video on Facebook ads where I did go in depth in this but begin with Instagram influencers and then go into Facebook ads 
around one to two months after your pixel gets enough data. So speaking about your pixel, in 2018 and onwards, you want to make sure your pixel is firing correctly. I've been hearing it too much from my friends and from the Facebook groups I'm in that their pixel is firing incorrectly and they're showing a larger amount of purchases than they're actually getting. And this just messes up your data, honestly. So you want to be sure that your pixel is all set up correctly, your Google Analytics is set up. And once you have around 500 to 1,000 audience size, you want to immediately jump into lookalike audiences. It doesn't matter what kind of custom audience you make. It could be view contact, add to cart, purchase, whatever. But you definitely want to immediately jump into that in 2018. And speaking of ads, you want to also make sure to jump into other platforms other platforms with the inconsistencies of Facebook I think it's really time that we begin broadening our advertising platforms and jumping into others some examples may be Google Ads and Twitter ads and of course Pinterest ads it Again, these depend on the kind of niche you're in. For instance, some niches may not work with Google Ads while others may not work with Twitter. It all depends on where your audience is. So if you have like a niche in which the audience is a younger age, it might be more into Twitter ads and Facebook ads rather than Google ads or Pinterest ads. So you always want to be on the lookout to what kind of audience you're in. You want to basically get to know your audience in and out. You want to know everything about them and then make sure to be utilizing other types of advertising platforms because Facebook, what would you do if Facebook ads shut down tomorrow? Would that be the end of your business? If it is, then you're doing something wrong. And this is why I highly recommend that you spend a little bit of time learning about other advertising platforms and trying to jump into them. And to jump into ads, you need to be done with your store. And this is why I recommend that you don't spend as much time on your store. Whenever I launch a new store now, I only take one day to build it and then I'm done and I'm immediately jumping into advertising. So spend spend one to two days max on building your store. You just want it to be professional, sleek and to the point. You don't need to do anything extra or anything fancy. Just make sure that it's appealing to the eyes and it's professional with not too many pop-ups. And then you would immediately want to be jumping into the advertising. Again, this is where the 80-20 rule comes into play. And most importantly of all, if you're pushing off opening your store or if you aren't able to find time to put into your store, you need to spend at least a few minutes every day to build your store and to do something positive for your store. Because everybody in life has some kinds of problems and we may not always have the time to do these things, but... If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you need to spend, even if it's five minutes, you need to spend that every day on working on your store and doing a positive change for it. So these are some of the things that you need to be focusing on starting this year because as with time comes different changes and we need to adapt to them. So just keep on trying out different things, see what works, see what doesn't and spend more time improving your best things rather than focusing on the weaker ones because you want to be above and beyond in the best part. So if you guys did find value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comment section what other videos I should be making or if you have any types of suggestions. See you next time.